and we're looking at the current champion Native River who of course is trained uh, by Colin Tizard, a man you know very well and you've had plenty of success with and hopefully you'll have plenty of success with him in the coming season. They're talking about now maybe starting Native River off in the King George, obviously looking, or sorry, in the in the chase at Haydock first because of a million pound bonus that is an offer if you can win the race at Haydock, win the King George, and then of course go on to the Cheltenham Gold Cup. So a little bit of a different preparation for him compared to what he had last year. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Colin will know exactly what, what's best to do by the horse, but I'd imagine that'd be his three runs, um, Haydock, then Kempton, and then, and then the Gold Cup. Uh, he only had one run before the Gold Cup last year, so uh, the race in Haydock would generally play to his strengths, you know, because it, it generally comes up fairly soft, so um, I'd imagine that's the the ideal race for him to start off in, yeah. And looking at it, I know we're looking miles ahead, but obviously he's the main danger because he's the current champion, like what everyone said about when Sizing John won the race in 2017. He's the horse that they all have to beat. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, he was a very good winner of the race last year. Himself and Mike Bite went a, a good gallop all the way and there was no prisoners, so... Uh, He's the he's the standard bearer now. He's the he's the champion and the one we ought to beat. And were you surprised with how well Mike Bite ran in 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 terms of what happened to him as a novice uh, when he had the RSA at his mercy? He obviously nearly went into the Guinness uh, tent. But in terms of how well he ran last year on maybe ground conditions that wouldn't have been to his optimum. Yeah, no ground definitely wasn't uh, being by Scorpion. He, he definitely would appreciate better ground. He travelled the whole way through the race like the best horse in the race for a long way and just maybe on that softer ground and uh, up the hill three and a quarter miles on soft ground he just didn't quite get home he got outstayed more than um, anything else so uh, look we, God knows what's going to happen in March what way the ground's going to turn up but uh, generally if it turned up good it would suit the likes of Sizen John and might bite more than it would Native River but uh, Look, we all have to get there first. Well, listen, the best of luck with Sizen John and we hope um, he can give you some of those brilliant memories you had before.